Hi, I'm Nancy Clark. And I'm Amory Wallace Phillips. We're the Hospice and Bereavement Coordinators with Theo and Oxford. And this is Morning Chats with Anne Marie and Nancy. Cheers, Anne Marie. Cheers, Nancy. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, displacement and grief. And once again, we're going to give a shout out to a website called uh, whatyourgrief.com. They had a very great article called Understanding Displacement While Grieving. And we've taken some of that information um, for you uh, today. Uh, so once again, if you do get a chance, uh, please go to whatyourgrief.com. Uh, it is a fantastic site um, for grief uh, related material, blogs, and stories. So what is displacement? Displacement is a defense mechanism, a behavior that people use to protect themselves from unpleasant internal conflict, thoughts, and emotions. Defense mechanisms can be tricky because they happen on an unconscious level. So people usually don't know they're using them. And we all have defense mechanisms unique to our own personalities, and we use them to protect ourselves from having to acknowledge, experience, admit, or cope with bad feelings or situations. Absolutely. There are other defense mechanisms as well that can impact grief. So things like uh, more common ones we hear about denial, repression, yep. and projection. Uh, but today we are going to focus specifically on displacement because it's such an interesting topic and something that many of us can relate to. Displacement is when a person has unpleasant thoughts or emotion towards someone, but instead of taking these emotions out on the original source, they take them out on another person or object. Displacement can happen when a person is unable to express their emotions towards the source that is causing the emotion. This could be because they don't actually know what is causing this emotion. Sometimes it's harder to know what is bringing up feelings than you would ever imagine. Um, and sometimes it's because the source isn't an actual person. Yeah. So for example, it could be cancer that takes someone's loved one, um, drugs, God, the universe, etc. So many different kind of um, abstract things that are not necessarily actual people. Right. And after a loved one dies, um, grieving people feel a number of intense and complicated emotions, as you well know. Yep. Sometimes you may feel these things um, towards, or may feel like these feelings towards things like faith, the yep. illness, the world, or the person who died. And in many of these instances, it's impossible to express your emotions towards the actual source. So insert displacement. So instead, you displace your emotions onto someone or something else. Yeah. For example, if a person has just experienced the death of their loved one from cancer, it may be easier and feel better in the moment to displace feelings of rage, injustice towards the grocery clerk who squished your loaf of bread by packing it at the bottom of the bag or your spouse who cut the grass too short rather than the cancer itself. Sometimes the displacement is quite obvious. You know exactly when and why it is happening. Other times you just find yourself being more irritable, annoyed, or angry at people around you, even when they really haven't done anything wrong. It can be very complicated because often your rational brain knows that someone hasn't done anything um, wrong to you or hasn't harmed you in any way but your emotional brain just cannot help but lash out. Yeah. So we're gonna talk more next week about displacement. It's such a big topic that we really thought we would break it up into two different morning chats. So next week, we're gonna talk about the type who we displace onto, as well as some tips on how to manage displacement. So join us for that next week. And in the meantime, uh, you can follow us on theoandoxford.ca on our website. You can certainly reach out to Anne-Marie and I by phone or email, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch our other morning chat videos. Take care and see you next week. Thanks for watching.